What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Date Smasher Pass. You guys know the game. We're me and my brother Sonic. Look at girls. We decide whether or not we will want to date Smasher Pass. And guys, finally, I have my brother Sonic here with me. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sonic the Hedgehog here. Sorry I haven't been on the channel for a while. I've been kind of busy. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, for those of you guys who are not cut up, I told Sonic that I actually did like Amy, and Amy was kind of developing a crush on me. And so Sonic, he actually came up with the idea that I would clone Amy, that, uh, that I would clone Amy, so that way I can have the original and he can have the clone. Yeah, and uh, right now I was trying to get the parts ready for the uh, cloning device Tails is making. Yeah, but sadly we're missing a few parts, but don't worry, we'll get them. In the meantime, bro, I'm glad you were able to take a little break and join me for this game of Would You Rather. Yeah, anytime. So, what's this game? So, what's... Um, wait. <laughs> you said Would You Rather. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant to say Date Smasher Pass. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, okay. Anything... Any reason why? I'll explain it later in another video. But anyway... <sighs> today... For today's Date Smasher Pass, we are going to be looking at women, and not just any type of women. We are going to be looking at women who can control the elements, mainly, you know, like earth, water, ice, lightning, wind, and all that other junk. Yeah, <laughs> I'm more, yeah, I know. And besides, if I was a woman, I bet my element would definitely be wind, as many times I'd be running. Yeah, true, true, true. As for me, you already know that mine would definitely be fire. Yeah, hence my yeah, hence your name is Flame. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so you ready to begin? Yep. So same rules apply. We're only looking at we're only looking for girls through their personality, through their personality and their looks, and their role on how they would act as a mate. Right. So ready to begin? Yeah, and if you guys and if you guys uh, have any more ideas for any date smasher passes, please put them down in the comments down below. And let me know in the comments down below which one of these lovely elemental women would you want to date smasher pass. So without further ado, let us begin. All right. So the first one we have here on the list is uh, okay. First up we have is Piranha Plant Et. Oh boy, it's when a piranha plant puts on the uh, super crown. Oh no, not those scenarios again. Yeah, the super crown. The most powerful item in all of Mario. Ugh. Yeah, I put that thing on and I did not feel like myself. Yeah, I put my yeah, I put it mine on too and it was just weird. Anyway, <laughs> Hey guys, I like for anybody. Hey, I like for you guys to make an artist rendering of what I would look like if I put on the super crown from Mario. Because <laughs> I'm really curious, what the heck do you guys think I would look like if I put on the super crown? But anyway, back to the game. Uh, I honestly don't know because the piranha plants—they are really interesting. Um, but the big thing, but the big turndown for me is that is those sharp teeth. I mean, think about it. How I mean, think about how those sharp teeth are probably going to get in the way when we, I don't know, kiss or something. Yeah, but if you think about it, the piranha plants can be really helpful. I mean, think about it. They're all over the Mushroom Kingdom. So think about it. If she was your girlfriend or your wife or something, then <laughs> you'll be protected wherever you go. Yeah, that is true. Because if you think about it, the piranha plants, like you said, they are everywhere. So, yeah, maybe that could work. You know what? I think I'll definitely smash and date Piranha Plant at. Um, okay. Um, as for me, I think I would definitely do the same thing. I think I would smash and date uh, Piranha Plant at. I mean, she is cute looking. And besides, there are many different designs of her. And besides, who knows if this is the actual design of her. Yeah, I'm sure it's not, but I'm sure if there is one other version of her, I'm sure, um, I'm sure lots of others would like it. <laughs> anyway, let's see who else we got here. 
Okay, next up is uh, Yuki Oma. Oh boy. Yuki Oma. Um, I don't know who that is. Okay, oh wait, wait, no. Wait, no, I'm saying it. Wait, I'm saying it wrong. It's Yuki Ona. My bad. It's Yuki Ona. She's an ice ghost. She's a Japanese yokai who freezes people to death with her, um, her cold kisses. Whoa, now that's definitely something. Me? I'm used to the cold. Yeah, but hers can definitely make you have frostbite in a matter of seconds. Yikes. But here's the thing. She only does that if you make her mad or discover her secret. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. Okay. Legend says that she... Okay, Legend said that she visited two old men. She visited two old men. They were sleeping... And all of a sudden, it just got cold. She visited the two old men and killed one of them. And the other one survived. And she said, and she said that if he ever blabs to anyone about what he's seen, she'll kill him. And so the years went by. He never talked about it. He never talked about it until he met this beautiful woman. They got married and had five kids. And soon the cold and soon the cold winter wind happened again and he said that that reminded her of the time that he that it reminded him of the time that ice woman visited his his friend and killed him. Soon she got so mad that she revealed herself that she revealed herself as as a uh, Yukiona and, oh lord, she was about to kill him, but she said, if it wasn't for our children, I would kill you by now. Whoa, so I guess he got out lucky. Yeah, in a way, but who knows? But who knows where the heck she is? And also, guys, I have been to the Creepypasta universe, and just so you know, Creepypastas do count as, I mean, yokai do kind of count as Creepypastas if you think about it, but anyway... Um, as for her, sure, why not? I would definitely smash and date. And besides, and besides, if we were really that close, she could reveal her secret to me whenever she wants to. And just as long as we keep her secret from other people. I mean, if I want to introduce her to my family, she'll have to keep it a secret. But if our kids do develop any ice powers, yeah, we definitely do got to be careful. So, yeah, I would definitely date and smash her. Um, sure, why not? I guess I would, too. I mean, she is cute looking. Uh, there are many different variants of her, are there? Are there? Yeah, there is, there is. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. She is cute in this anime version. Wait, there, wait, she's in an anime? Oh, there's many, many different versions of her. There's either yokai versions, like the scary versions of her, and there's also, like, lots of others, too, like an anime... It's uh, kind of crazy. But anyway, yeah, I would definitely date and smash her. Okay, me too. All right, who's next? Next up is Weiss Schneef. I mean, no, not Weiss Schneef. Winter Schneef, sorry. Winter Schneef from Ruby. You know, <laughs> the ice woman herself. Oh, boy. Well, since you are already dating her and all that other junk, what do you think? Well, obviously, I would date and smash. I mean, I dated her, but I haven't smashed her. And besides, if I did, Weiss would kill me. Ugh. Anyway, um, I would definitely date and smash Winter. I mean, she is cute looking. She's beautiful. Although, she can be really strict. Yeah, most guys really don't like strict women. Uh, I'm going to have to say pass on her. Besides, nobody can tell this hedgehog what to do. My master is the wind that blows. That blows in the direction I go. Yep. <laughs> Definitely know that saying. Nice job, Sonic, Knight of the Wind. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, let's keep on going. Right. Okay, next up is... Okay, you guys may not recognize her, but believe it or not, this is actually Nia from Lego Ninjago. 
<laughs> this is Nia from Lego Ninjago. Because there's no way I'm going to be smashing or dating the Lego version of her. So I'm going to be just using this picture of her as a human. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be something. But anyway, yeah, Nia. She is the water ninja of the uh, group of ninjas. Um, she can control water. It's definitely something. Uh, I'm going to have to pass on her because you know me and water. But I thought you were taking swimming lessons. Yeah, I am. It's just that I'm not really used to being in the water. Okay, I understand that. The only time that I would let water touch me is if I'm, you know, taking a bath or taking a shower or something. Other times, no. <laughs> yeah, because when we go to the beach, I understand that you don't like being in the water. Yep, all, yep, all of you can be in the water, but not me. You know me, I just like chilling on the beach with my sunglasses on, eating a thing of ice cream, or just sitting back chilling, taking a nap. It seems to me you always take naps, bro. Every five minutes I always see you up in a tree. Well, that's just how I roll. Anyway, I'm saying pass on Nia. Okay, alright, alright. As for me, um, I'm gonna have to say pass as well. Because I do not want Jay's girl. I mean, sure, it was a brave move for her to sacrifice herself to save everybody. Um, I'm still going to have to say pass. Because, yeah, Jay, he actually, he actually earned the rights to be her boyfriend. Because here's the thing. Jay, the whole series of Lego Ninjago, he tries so hard to impress Nia. I remember this one time he actually did went out on a date with her. It was just crazy. It was kind of crazy when he turned into a snake and everything, but yeah, it was just nuts. But anyway, yeah, I'm passing on Nia. Yep, same here, pass. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, next up we have is Terra from the Teen Titans. Uh, well, I'm going to flat out say this. Beast Boy definitely had like a whole mess of feelings for her, but... After what she did to betray them, went with Slade and all that other junk. That was just kind of crazy. Okay, but at least Beast Boy still did care about her to give her a second chance to save everybody. It was just nuts and stuff, but still. Uh, Tara. Um, I honestly don't know, guys. I'm having mixed feelings about this because number one, she's cute. But number two, she's underaged. So I think I'm going to have to say pass on Tara. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to say pass on Terra as well, because honestly, I don't think I want any crazy girls uh, in my, uh, you know, in my life. I already had enough dealing with Amy over the years, but hey, it's okay. Me and Amy, we're still together, I guess. <sighs> it's all right. It's all right, bro. Okay, let's keep on going. So I'm passing on Terra. Yep, same here. Pass. Cool, pass. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, oh boy. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, you guys may not know her, but she is from the anime, otherwise known as A Certain Magical Index. Her name is uh, Mitsuri. I mean, Mitsura, or whatever her name is. I forgot. <laughs> okay, but anyway, she can control lightning and electricity. She can control lightning and electricity. <laughs> that sounds like something movie me would like. I mean, yeah, he does kind of have lightning powers and all that other junk, but um, I honestly don't know about this girl. She is a bit young. She is a bit young. She is kind of something, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know, bro. I think I'm going to have to say pass on her. Yeah, same here. And besides, I'm still learning how to do that lightning thing that my movie self does. Yeah, and I'm getting, and I'm still trying to master my lightning, my lightning powers and stuff. It only happens when I'm in my lightning form, but it's still in work in progress. Yeah, <laughs> mastering lightning is not easy. No, it is not. Anyway, pass. Pass. All right, let's keep going. Okay, next up is Poison Ivy. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I just want you to know that the artwork that you see in here is all done in AI. I mean, doesn't it look good? I mean, doesn't it look good? <laughs> anyway, uh, Poison Ivy uh, controls plants. Uh, obviously, yeah, I think Poison Ivy will be nice, but hence the name Poison Ivy. Plus, not only that, didn't you say that when she kisses you, it's poisonous? Well, yeah, that is true, but... 
there's many different versions of Poison Ivy. There's many different versions of her. Remember in the Harley Quinn series, her and Ivy been kissing for I don't know how long, and yet <laughs> Harley is still around. Well, yeah, that is true. By the way, that's definitely something. <laughs> yeah, that is something. Hey, you know, maybe I ought to do a uh, maybe I ought to do a video about my top favorite lesbian couples. Really? Yeah, why not? I mean, it can't hurt. I guess, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But anyway, uh, Poison Ivy, I am, I already smashed. And let me just say, woo, she is a bit of a freak. Yeesh. <laughs> well, as for me, I'm gonna have to say pass. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay, bro. It's all right. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Cinder Fall from Ruby. Oh boy, Cinder Fall. <laughs> I know how much you like her. Yeah, I do. She is really cute, strong, and not only that, and not only that, but she has actually improved over the years. She's not as evil as she used to be. She's not as evil. <laughs> the only time it, the only time that she is evil is well, you know, when she's protecting me <laughs> or when we're, you know, Guys, let me just tell you this. When it comes to women, they can be right demon-like in the bedroom. I mean, it's just crazy. But anyway, as for Cinder, yes, 100% smash. Um, okay. As for me, I'm going to have to say pass. Whoa, why are you passing, bro? Well, you see, here's the thing, though. Years ago, me and Cinder really didn't like each other. We really didn't get along. Mainly because she was really after my power. Wait, she was after your power years ago? Yeah, she was, but we're cool now. I mean, we're cool now. Just as long as she doesn't bother with stealing my power. Yeesh. What the heck would Cinder want with super speed? Oh, uh, wait, then again, what doesn't people want with super speed? What don't people want with super speed? Exactly. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm, well, I'm still saying smash. She is beautiful. And I'm still saying pass. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, boy. Oh! Wait a minute. Bro, is that who I think it is? Yep, next on the list is my Shirinuri from King of Fighters. And my first martial arts student. Oh, Lord. This is going to be crazy. Okay, all right, all right. I know how you feel about her. I mean, she is a beautiful young woman. Plus, not only that, but she is one of your favorite students, right? Well, ex-student now. Remember, I gave the stu I gave the dojo the SBO for his birthday. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder how he is. I wonder how he's doing. I haven't heard from him in a. I haven't heard from him in a while. Ever since we merged. Ever since we merged Equestria and. Uh, Mobius. I haven't heard from him in a while. Also, by the way, guys, I'm still waiting for a name for the planet. I'm still waiting for it. Like, what the heck should we call it? I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, you know what? She is cute looking, plus not to mention the gigantic chi-chis that she has. They can hypnotize a lot of men, so and make them really, really distracting. And plus, any person would be lucky to have a woman like this in their lives. So, yeah, definite smash and date. Sorry, Mai, if you're watching this. I'm pretty sure she feels the same way about you. I mean, come on. You taught her fire tricks that you that she doesn't even know. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But anyway, let's see. What do you think, bro? Uh, she seems cute. She seems cute enough. You know what? I guess I'll date her, but I'm not going to smash considering how you feel about her. Thanks, bro. Whew. Oh, bro, you know what I forgot to add in here? What? I forgot to add in the Sailor Moon characters. You know, like Sailor Mars and all the other people. Oh, yeah. They have elemental powers as well. Shoot. Well, save it for next time. <laughs> I might do a second. I might do a part two. Who knows? I might do a second one. Or maybe I might... Um, who knows? Anyway, let's keep on going. Alright, next up is Toth B. 
Bay Fong from, oh boy, Avatar The Last Airbender. And by the way, guys, this piece of artwork was done in AI as well. Same thing with that picture of my. <laughs> AI art is definitely on trend these days, huh? Forget fan art. Move on to AI art. Anyway, Toph. Uh, okay. Here's the thing, though. Because it's a mixed bag. Because I've seen her in three different ages. One, when she was, when she was young in Avatar The Last Airbender. The second one was in Legend of Korra when she was, you know, part of the military police. And three was when she was that old woman teaching, uh, teaching, uh, <laughs> teaching Korra how to, uh, mud bend or earth bend. Oh, Lord. It was just nuts. But anyway, uh, considering, uh, she has like different ages. I'm uh, it's a mixed bag for me, but to play it safe, I'm gonna have to say pass. Okay, as for me, I'm gonna have to say pass as well because honestly, I don't think I can be with a woman who uh, you know, worked with rocks all day. Trust and believe me, bro. She doesn't just work with rocks, she works with metal as well. Toph, don't forget, she worked with metal, she invented metal bending. How do you bend metal? Well, basically what she does is, is metal is basically a whole bunch of earth compressed together. So what she does is bend the earth in the metal. Whoa, that's definitely something. Yeah, because if there's, yeah, because if there's one thing all earthbenders can't do, it's bend metal. Until today. Until today. Plus, not to mention Katara, she learned a different type of... Uh, water bending, which was blood bending. Blood bending? It's when you can bend the water inside of people to make them move like a puppet. Whoa, that's definitely scary. It is really scary. <sighs> anyway, enough talking about blood bending, enough talking about metal bending. Let's just keep on going. Yeah, and we said pass, right? Yeah, we said pass. All right, let's keep going. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot about her. I forgot what her name was, guys, but she was from the uh, game Persona 3. And she is an ice woman. She's an ice woman. Well, technically, she doesn't really work with ice herself, but her persona does. Artemisia. Um, I forgot her name. If you guys remember her name, let me know in the comments. She's really, she's really a uh, high class. She's really, um, excuse me, really good at fencing and sword fighting. I'm not gonna lie, she is really, really beautiful looking. And plus, look at them jugs. Look at them jugs. Bro, <laughs> calm down. Get back to Earth. Come back to Earth, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's keep on going. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. So, yeah, I would definitely say smash. Yep, smash. Definite smash. You would actually work with some. You would actually date somebody who has, like, you know... This, like, works with the uh, ice and all that other junk? I mean, I did say you pass. I mean, I did say smash to all the others that uh, have ice powers. Well, yeah, that is true. I did. Yeah, that is true. You did. Anyway, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. All right, next up we have is Weiss Schnee. And guys, I'm not going to lie. This picture of Weiss that I found, which was also done in AI... It actually looks pretty cute. I wish she actually dressed like this in Ruby. Why can't she dress like this in Ruby? But she does look really cute, though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, Weiss. Yes, I would definitely smash and date Weiss. She is really cute and, not to mention, very high class. A woman I can definitely get behind. Uh, I can... I think I'm definitely just gonna date. I'm not gonna smash or anything because here's the thing, though. Winter. She might kill me. Yeah, because here's the thing, Weiss is Winter's little sister, and if something happens to her, yeah, we're both going to die. Yeah, big time. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to say smash. Psych, I'm kidding, I'm going to say pass. <laughs> well, you're quite the jokester, bro. <sighs> anyway, let's keep on going, let's keep going. Okay, next up is As Death. Oh, boy. As death from a comic a kill. Oh boy. Okay. 
as death. Well, obviously it's a smash. I mean, look at her. Obviously it's a smash. Yeah, I guess so too. Because, let me, okay, let me just tell you this. Tatsumi, you are definitely stupid to deny a woman like this. I mean, sure, she does have a killer mentality and all that other junk. Plus, she has killed a whole bunch of people. She <laughs> didn't help her father out when he died and stuff because of that whole code thing. Plus, not to mention, she does have demons in her head. Uh, well, not really. I think she uh, stopped that. But here's the thing, dude. You really lucked out on a woman like this. Yeah, he kind of did because don't get me wrong. Tatsumi, I don't know because here's the thing. As death, she may, you know... Be like super psycho, psycho, crazy, crazy, but she is all that in a bag of chips. I mean, come on, guys. Look at her. I bet lots of men would like to take a sip out of this tall glass of water. <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely say smash and date. And just so you know, I have smashed and holy mother. Woo. Oh, boy. Okay, so as for me, I'm going to have to say... Uh, Mm, date. I'm gonna just say date. She is really cute looking, but as for smashing, nah, I'm not going to do that. Alright, that's good for you, bro. Alright, let's keep her going. Alright, next up is Phoenix, otherwise known as uh, Jean Grey from, you know, Marvel. Oh boy, the Phoenix. Oh boy, Phoenix. Okay, uh, I honestly don't know how to feel about this one, guys, because here's the thing, though. Phoenix, she can be both good, she can be both evil sometimes. I honestly don't know what to say about her. Um, I don't know what to say about her. I mean, she is cute and all, but here's the thing, though. Um, if she goes off on me, it could be the end of me. So I'm going to have to say just uh, pass. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have to say pass as well. Phoenix, she is cute and all, but yeah, sorry. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, next up is Juvia from Fairy Tale, the water mage woman. Okay, uh, you know, she is really cute looking, and plus, not to mention, uh, <laughs> Grey has definitely always given her the third degree and all that other junk, but I wouldn't. I mean, look at her, she is cute looking, but sadly, I'm gonna have to say pass, because again, you know, water... Yeah, I know, I know. But as for me, I'm definitely going to have to say smash. I'm going to have to say smash. I mean, look at her. She is cute looking. Plus, not to mention, I love the... F Plus, you guys don't know this, but I just love the fairy tale emblem on her thigh. It's just so... It's just so cute looking. Plus, guys, don't... Guys, um... <clears throat> don't tell Sarah, Cat, or Star this, but here's the thing. I actually have a huge weakness for girls with thick thighs. Wait, you do? Yeah, I actually do. I mean, look how thick her thighs are. And they're just so beautifully thick. I mean, who doesn't love a girl that has, like, you know, thick thighs and massive jugs and all that other junk? Okay, bro, 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 come back to Earth. Come back to Earth. Stop going into La La Land. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just that when I think about it, it's just like... Woo! Paradise. Yep, I guarantee you that's every pervert's, you know, fantasy. Being surrounded by a whole bunch of women with uh, great big tits and great big, you know, ass and thighs and stuff. Hey, I'm not a pervert, says the person that has a harem. Hey! Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine, I'm a pervert, but I'm a proud pervert! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hashtag, yeah, hashtag proud perv. Can I get that trending in the comments, please? Hashtag proud perv. Anyway, yeah, Juvia, definitely smash and date. All right, suit yourself. Let's keep her going. Okay, net, okay now here's something we can definitely both agree on. Blaze the cat. Okay, yep, definitely smash. Yep, smash. Yep, smash and date, obviously. Yeah, me and Blaze actually have dated years ago. We actually broke up because, you know, she, because we thought about marriage and then, you know, one thing led to another. And then next thing you know, we came up with the uh, conclusion that we're just going to stay friends. 
Yeah, that is a good idea because lots of people seem to think that if you get married, then you would have to move in with her uh, in the soul dimension. But Mobius needs you. And there also comes the time, then there also comes, uh, if you marry Blaze, then Blaze would have to move in over here in Mobius. But the soul dimension needs her. Well, yeah, that is true. That's, yep, that's true right there. But obviously, it seems like the soul dimension and Mobius has, you know, become in contact with each other for years. Because, you know, Blaze is settling here in Mobius. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But either way, I'm still going to have to say smash and date. And just so you know, have smashed. Oh my god. Let's just say neither one of us woke up until the next day. Whoa, really? Yeah, it, it was kind of hot in the bedroom, and I'm not saying it was just because of the, uh, <clears throat> the heat that was going on in there. Whoa, okay, bro, easy there. Anyway, as for me, um, like I said, I'm definitely going to have to say Smash and Date. I mean, look at Blaze, she is really cute, though. Yeah, exactly, but, <laughs> hey, Sonic. Yeah? Unrelated, unrelated, but... Here's the here's a question that lots of people really wondered. Which girl do you like more? Amy, Rouge, or Blaze? Or Sally? Oh boy, the lifelong question. Okay, I'm just gonna fight, I'll tell you guys the truth. It's a tie between Sally and Amy, okay? It's a tie between Sally and Amy. Rouge, I do like her, but I don't love her, because here's the thing. She would just use me just to get the Chaos Emeralds. As for Blaze, yeah, I already tried dating her, uh, but like I said, the whole marriage thing, it was just kind of bad. So yeah, it's just gonna be, so yeah, it's a tie between Amy and Sally. Because, you know, Sally and I had that, uh, <laughs> whole Freedom Fighters thing. And as for Amy and me, we've known each other ever since we were kids, so yeah, it's just been nuts. Yeah, anyway, let's keep her going before we get off topic. Let's keep going. Okay, next up is Elsa from the movie Frozen. Uh, I honestly don't know what to say about this, guys, because here's the thing, though. Elsa's a fan favorite when it comes to the movie Frozen. I mean, sure, Anna, she is really nice and sweet and kind and stuff, but here's the thing. Lots of people seem to like Elsa more, mainly because, I guess, maybe it's because of the ice powers and stuff. Because, you know, lots of people really love girls with ice powers. Plus, not only that, but she also has that song Let It Go and all that other junk. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking about the first movie. I mean, most people are on the second movie. Yeah, I know that. I'm just saying. Anywho, yeah, Elsa, I guess I would say Smash. Yep, Smash, just because she's a fan favorite. Okay, whatever you say, bro. Alright, let's keep her going. Okay. Now, this woman right here, for those of you guys who don't remember uh, the show, The Amazing World of Gumball, uh, this is Yuki. This is Yuki. She is the, uh, she's the woman that Nicole Watterson fought in that uh, episode. <laughs> that was just nuts, though. It was nuts. That fight was crazy. And, you know, lots of people seem to make fan art of her just because she had, like, massive tits and, you know, all that other junk. I mean, bro, think about it. Well, who doesn't make fan art of women who have massive tits? Yeah, true, true, true. So, and basically what she does is she basically got the... I got the feeling she, like, controls the weather, just like her husband and her daughter. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing, yeah, I'm gonna have to say smash. But, bro, how in the world are you gonna smash a cloud? Okay, that's the big kicker. I don't know, because that's just gonna be weird. Anyway, moving on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I haven't answered yet. Uh, okay. It's gonna be a pass, because here's the thing. Where there's clouds, there's water. And where there's water, there's gonna be a wet hedgehog. And trust and believe me, no one likes that. Okay, alright, alright. So, you're gonna pass on Yuki? Yep, passing. Oh, well, alright. Okay, let's keep her going. All right, next up is Ice Queen from Adventure Time, where everybody was gender-bent. Oh, Lord. Yeah, who can forget those episodes? <laughs> Definitely a very, very interesting episode normal from the normal, you know, Adventure Time, you know, with Finn and Jake. Yep, 
But this time it's uh, with Fiona and Cake. Oh boy. Okay, but anyway, Ice Queen. Uh, she is a bit crazy. She is a bit crazy, but she's just Prince crazy. Um, but if anybody was to come around and, uh, you know, get used to uh, her bit of crazy, I guess maybe I would say Smash, if she wasn't so crazy. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I think I'll say Smash as well. I mean, she is cute looking, I guess. Besides the sharp teeth and everything. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep her going. All right, next up we have is Flame Princess, also from Adventure Time. The, norm the normal version of Adventure Time. Uh, I already said Smash. I already said Smash, and plus I have smashed her. Guys, just so you know, it is not easy smashing a girl that literally is made out of fire. It's not easy, but I actually handled it pretty well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I had to uh, relit her spark the next day, if you know what I mean. Whoa, okay, that's definitely something in TMI. Uh, as for me, I'm going to have to say pass because, you know, I'm not taking any chances with that. I mean, I already had that fire. I already had that fire arrow in my chest. There's no way I want to deal with any more fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sonic and the Sonic and the Seven Rings. I forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Sonic and the Secret Rings. I mean, don't get me wrong. That was a really good game and all, but the last thing I needed was that fire, but with that fire arrow in my chest. I didn't want that. Okay, so yeah, I'm already smashing and dating her. And I'm passing. Alright, let's keep her going. Okay, next up we have is CJ from uh, Regular Show. Oh boy. You know, guys, <laughs> here's a little fun fact for you guys. Did you know that Regular Show and Adventure Time were actually tied for the top shows in Cartoon Network? It's kind of nuts, I know. Anyway, uh, CJ. I have seen what she can do. She can control the weather. She can, like, make her own weather. Like, she can make her own storms, you know, wind, rain, and snow, lots of other junk. It's just nuts. Oh, pfft, storm. Dang it, I forgot to put storm in from the X-Men in here. Uh, but anyway, CJ, um, smash. Okay, smash, definitely. Smash and date. Yeah, you wouldn't date Yichi? Or Yuri? Whatever her name is. Ah! Okay, but here's the thing, though. She seems cool. The other woman was just really uh, persuasive and very, very irritating. I mean, come on. Did you not see the episode where she was always steady trying to get in the cold to always fight her? Yeah, that's true. She is very, you know, something. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that little scene in the school was actually really cool. Yeah, it was like a little anime thing going on. That was nuts. But with the Amazing World of Gumball, anything's random. Ugh. But anyway, CJ, yep, smash. Yep, smash. All right, let's keep her going. Okay, next up we have is Gloriosa from MLP, Equestria Girls, Legend of Everfree. Wait, are you talking about that one girl that tried to save her Campbell by herself, and then next thing you know, she turned into like this giant plant monster? Uh-huh, that's the, yep, yep, that's the episode. Oh boy, I don't know what to say about this. Um, I don't know, bro. Well, don't get me wrong, she is really nice when she calms down and stuff. Plus, Gloriosa, Daisy, I actually do, I, plus, I actually am dating her. She's really, she's really nice, she wants to get to know her. She loves nature, she loves nature, she just loves being outdoors and stuff. And plus, I did give her back her magic so that way she could turn back into this. You what? Well, it's only for emergencies. Just like how with Twilight, just like how with uh, Psy Twy, she can turn back into, you know, Midnight Sparkle. And same thing with Sunset. She can turn back into Demon Sunset. She can turn back into Demon Sunset. Plus, not only that, but don't forget Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, they can turn into Nightmare Moon and Daybreaker. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You proved your point. <sighs> but anyway, would you smash her? Oh, yes, 100%. Even like this? Yep, yep, 100% smash and date. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to say pass. I mean, as much as I love nature, I don't think I can deal with this. All right, suit yourself. Anyway, let's keep her going. All right, next up we have is Surge the Ten Wreck. Next up we have is Surge the Ten Wreck. 
Okay, oh boy, okay, Surge. You know, lots of people seem to ship her and you together, Sonic. I don't know why. I mean, she's just a she's just a character from the IDW comics that not that many people mention. Her and, you know, Kit. Her and Kit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kit the Finnick Fox. Who can forget about that little guy? Yeah. Just like how me and Tails has a little buddy, she has a little buddy. Although he's more like a punching bag to her. Yeah, and by the way, Surge, she has actually changed her ways. She changed her ways. She's actually really nice now and cute and adorable. <laughs> and every so often she does, you know, put her hair down. Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, so what do you think? I'm smashing. But are you sure you want to with her electrical powers? Trust and believe me, bro. I can easily handle electrical powers. Well, all right. As for me, uh, to satisfy the shippers, I would date her. Fine. <sighs> Is that all? Actually, we got one... Hang on. I don't remember putting this one in here. Wait, what happened? Uh, apparently, there's this secret one in here. I don't know who put this in here, but hold up. Let me see who... He, let me see who this... It... Okay. I'm going to kill whoever put my mom in this list. I'm going to kill whoever put my mom in this list. Okay, so... I'm gonna... Okay, we already know my answer. I'm passing on my own mother. But here's the thing. Guys, I don't swing that way. I don't swing that way. I mean, come on. I don't smash my own mom. That's disgusting. And I don't date my own mom. That's disgusting. Well, technically, it's not really disgusting, but, you know, uh But, again, guys, come on. That's just incest right there. That's incest. And plus, it's disgusting. Yeah, I mean, that's like smashing my mom, and you know I wouldn't do that. Exactly. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Well, guys, I guess that's it. I guess that's it for the end of this Elemental Date Smasher Pass. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like and comment down below, and also let me know in the comments down below which one of these elemental women would you want to date smash or pass, and also let me know in the comments, um, let me know in the comments section, uh, if you guys have any date smash or pass ideas, just let me know, also, let me know, also, guys, be sure to keep an eye out later on, because I have something that I want to discuss with all of you that I just discovered, and it's something crazy. Anyway, anyway, you're definitely going to hold on to yourselves when you guys know about what's going to be happening later today. <sighs> anyway, anyway, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so that way you guys will update whenever I post. Anyway, bro, is there anything else you'd like to say before we head on out? All I have to say is, this game is absolute. this version of Date Smasher Pass was a little bit weird. Yeah, it was weird. It was good, but until we got to my mom, that's when it got weird. Yeah, and are you sure you didn't put your own mom in this list? I'm sure I didn't. Wait a minute, hold up. I'm getting a, hang on, I'm getting a text on my phone. It says... Ha ha, hope you like this, hope you like my little surprise, Eggman. Uh, bro, you know what time it is. Yep, time to go kick Eggman's ass. Yep, anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. And Sonic the Hedgehog. About to go kick some Eggman's ass. Anyway, later flamethrowers. Oh, and be sure to put, oh yeah, and like I said before, I like to see an artist rendering of what me... And Sonic would look like if we put on the Super Crown from Mario. Because <laughs> I'm really curious. Anyway, later flamethrowers. See you guys.